G'day everyone out there today. I just wanted to do a very quick um, session on a game called Vikings Gorm Wild. As you can see, it's just there. Um, I'm actually in the game room at the moment. Uh, it's got its own little thing here called game room. So I'm going to click on this and just give you a look at it um, to run through it and uh, tell you a little bit about Vikings Gorm Wild and uh, what it actually does. So um, yeah, I'll show you a couple little fights that I can do in it as well. And I'm pretty sure you guys and girls out there will love it. So I'll just scan up here. Uh, here we go. So it's just loading now. As you can see, nice little uh, graphics at the front there. And as you can see there, it also says Vikings Gorm Wild in the corner. Well, sort of. <laughs> I haven't... I don't know. Uh, can I can I bring that up a bit more? It doesn't matter. Anyway, it does say Vikings Gorm Wild. Now, um, the thing is about this, it gives you a few tips and hints at the start, obviously. Uh, like, you know, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And all that sort of stuff. But now we're into the loading screen. Now, as you can see, um, oh, here we go. Rearm my traps. As you can see, um, I'm in the main thing now. Um, and there's actually a guild war going on, which the guild I'm in is actually leading right now. The guild I'm in is called Knock Knockdown. Um, I've come over to this guild just to help them for a little while and, you know, help them out because I'm a fairly high level. Um, at the moment, I'm on level 193. Three, I believe it is. Oh, sorry, 197. Um, so that's me. Um, and yeah, so I'll just zoom out a bit here. As you can see, it's pretty cool. I've got a few things I can collect here, like some nectar and stuff like that. And the idea also is to build up your defenses and your walls and stuff so people can't get in when they attack your village. Um, it's it's basically a strategy game. If you've ever heard of uh, the game Clash of Clans, it's very, very similar to that. Only this offers, uh, Vikings Gorm Wilds actually offers a little bit more um, playability in its uh, things. And uh, yeah, so I'll just get this little bonus here. Get bonus. See this? It, gives you, it always gives you bonuses. Like these things here, this little thing here, your, your daily bonus, it tells you when things are due and when they're ready. So, you know, here, 19 minutes, well, basically 20 minutes, I've got another one. So, you know, that gives me a bonus as I'm playing it. So pretty good stuff now. Um, I'll just go through some of the uh, fine-tuned elements here, which is, of course, your your men that you get. Now, at the moment, um, I haven't put anything in my taverns here, but there's a ton load of men you can get. Of course, I'll just scan through it and sh give you a look. Of course, there's things called nectar troops as well. Uh, these are nectar troops that you get. They're pretty cool when you use them. Um, and I've got a few of those uh, lined up, so... All right, I'll show you what the battle actually looks like, and you guys and girls can uh, make up your own mind what you actually think of it. So, now as I said, my level at the moment is 197, but because I'm fairly confident in my abilities, I don't know how well I'll go here, but I'm going to take someone much bigger than me. Uh, there's one called Draconisian, who's on a level 295. I'm only 197, but hey, look, you know what? I'm going to give it a go anyway. And if I get my backside handed to me, well, you know, that's just the way it is. So we'll do a revenge, see how it goes, and we'll try our best. Okay, here we go, guys and girls. Please wish me the best because, you know, I think I might need it on this one. But we'll give it a go. Here we go. I'm going to scan back a bit here. As you can see, this village is pretty well defended. Um, yeah, so, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to give it a go. Because I think maybe I can beat them. So here we go. I'm going to try my best luck here. And see how we go. First these are war turtles. I'm going to shove them down. There you go. There's a few war turtles. As you can see they're, they're going pretty mad at the moment. Um, I should have put some sound on actually. Because that's cool. Here comes one of my yacht fleeters. What I call their like, trans ship carriages. Fairies. Chucking a heap of fairies down. Um, they're good as well. Here's a couple little Viking warriors. They can go into the fray and attack as well. Now, the idea, people, of this game is to try to take out all their village, either get 50% as a win or take their main town hall out, which, of course, is this thing here. Um, that's their main town hall, just this one here. But if you can take 50%, you win. So it's pretty good. Um, not a bad game. Now, I've, there are some hero listings over here, uh, but I like to choose the one that digs up the, the the skeletons and stuff with zombies and and whatnot so i'll place that one down come across i'm spending a little bit of time talking which is probably a bit of a no-no when it comes to this type of game because you should be trying to fully concentrate on everything especially if you're trying to beat a, a big hitter like this but hey look i'm just having fun you know i don't hopefully i win i win you know 
and that's the main thing. That's the thing. It's just about having fun on the game, you know. It's not. It's not always about winning, although I do like to win um, a lot if I'm able to, um, because you know I like to win. There's fifty percent target. Look, you know, I'm, I think I'm, I think I've got him. You know, I mean, I'm pretty good at this game. I've been in it for quite some time. And I usually do um, take out anyone that I come across. So that little green thing, by the way, that I just clicked, that raises anything that's like, see these little skeletons that are on the ground there? You see some skeletons that are right here? They actually raise into like zombie things um, when that re when my thing reloads, which it has now. So what I'll do is I'll go near it and I'll click on it and watch what happens. I'm going to go over. I'm going to click on it now for you guys and girls to see. And look, look at that. See that? It raised them as zombies. So, you know, they come in to help me as well. It's not bad. And, of course, there is a time limit. You must defeat its um, its village or the, the, the person that you're playing against within a certain time frame, um, which can be a bit of a hassle because their defences are quite good as you're trying to break them down and get through it and, you know, try to generally defeat the whole village. A lot of people complain at the game that it's actually pretty hard to get it within a time limit, which as you can see, it is clicking down really fast now. So i am got a little bit of a struggle here, but as soon as I try my best, I'll see what I can do and yeah, just, just see what I can do. Um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get this guys and girls, but hey, look, you know, we're gonna give it a go. I better head this way, let the war turtles. They're war turtles, by the way, those things there. Oh, that's a hero trap that nearly got me. You gotta be real careful of those things. That's deadly, really deadly. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm coming in. Time's running out very quickly now, people. Um, I've got to try and move my backside. Otherwise, I'm not going to win it. Look at this. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be a close call. It's really going to be a close call. Um, no, I didn't, I didn't get a hundred percent, but that's okay. I still got, I still did pretty well out of it. Um, and you know, I didn't go in with a ton of war turtles or a ton of those little drecky things that other people use, which probably would have given me a hundred percent. I just played it chill, you know, casual. So yeah, that's not that's not too bad, and um, yeah, so I got him pretty good. There is a bonus when you win, of course, you get uh, certain victory bonus points and stuff like that, which of course all adds up uh, to your main thing back at base, and you get that. And these are compasses over here, by the way, and war points in the thing. It would have been better, of course, if I got three stars out of this, would have been more worth more war points to my guild. But hey, look, you know. I'm probably going to end up, um, you know, in the guild anyway, being the highest war points earner because I stick in and I fight pretty hard. And, yeah, for this, though, I'm just showing you guys uh, and girls out there just the general basics as I'm holding my mobile phone in my hand as I'm showing you it. So I'm not going full on. I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm not going full on in, in, in battling at the moment because this is just like a, a bit of an upload for you guys to see what it's like. But, yeah, I'll go okay to that. Click it. Oh, yeah, sometimes uh, the thing gives me, they call it blessings of the gods, give me some troops back that, that have been recovered during my fight. So I'll collect them. That's fine. And, of course, we head back to the actual village. As you can see, we're heading back now to the village. It's going back. It's returning. And there's my village, people back again i'll just get scan out of course and yeah by the way there are little resource things that pop up um these things here give you certain things like nectar and stuff like that one of my um best friends renames all of the things like that's meant to be nectar but because it's green um she calls it slime <laughs> and and uh, it's just crazy what what she carries on about with 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 that sort of stuff. <laughs> it's quite a laugh. I might I might update you guys a little bit later about all what she says and stuff, but it is pretty funny. Um, so yeah, a bit later. Oh, by the way, don't forget to um subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notifications bell. Um, I do hope you like these things that I upload, of course. And uh, yeah, I'll just very quickly run you through this as well. Over here, I'll just go into the attack thing here at the moment. Um, as you can see, there's some compasses and stuff like that. These are called guild fights here. They give massive amounts of points. We're fighting a guild called Valhalla at the moment. Um, and yeah, so as you can see, you attack one of these things here, like on one of these, one of these guys here by clicking on these links here. The harder ones are these ones, obviously, but if we scroll down, you'll see where they're less points. They're not as hard. But yeah, if you attack the hard ones, you've got a lot maxi points like that. You're gonna gonna have a little bit of a battle, obviously, and it goes all the way down to right, really low points, which I would never attack because I want to help my guild out or the guild that I'm in. So yeah, but there, I think their their leader for Valhalla, um, I can't remember who it is. It might be 
it could be one of these three guys here or you know this guy here I'm not quite sure but or one of these 1280s most leaders have high points um, because they're leading the guild and they're the leader of the guild and they've created the guild to fight against so yeah anyway I hope you guys and girls like this uh, upload and uh, yeah so anyway have a good one don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, have a good one cheers all catch you later